going on Sagittarius so a lot of you very much so have liberated yourselves from relationships look you have the hermit the six of swords and the five of cups I I honestly see that a lot of you Sagittarius are not doing the majority of what people are talking about on social media because what most people are talking about on social media is um it's really sensationalized the reason why it is i'm saying that is because the hermit is because of the hermit a lot of you sagittarius are looking at the context of relationships right in the modern day and you're looking at it like why is it that you are the ones that are expected to be servants and just be workhorses right read into what i'm saying now follow me Re workhorses while you ask them okay well, what are you going to be doing oh well, they'll just be over here doing what it is that they're doing and they got to do this and it's like that's not sharing the load because what you're doing versus what it is that they're doing in comparison is way harder instead of the two of you share the hundred pounds right both of you just get 50 50 you realize that it's that it's game it's mind game in a sense that what they're trying to do is they're just trying to run a grift. They're trying to get you to agree to something. So they're trying to get you to be like, oh, well, you Sagittarius should be okay with getting this. You should be okay with getting this. And that this is fair. And the six of the thing about it is that the six of swords represents you Sagittarius know that that's a bunch of bull. You Sagittarius know good and well that that's not fair exchange. And, I, and the Five of Cups represents, I just see a lot of you Sagittarius, like you're, you're saying to yourselves, you know, if anybody comes to you with this, trying to have you have 90% of the load and they have 10%, that's not going to do for you. Because like it is, I said before, even in the good book, it says, and, and I'm not preaching, I'm just saying that I'm, I'm using the fact that people say that they believe in this. To, to give a lesson in that sense. People say that they believe in the book. Okay. Well, in the book, it actually promotes 50-50 relationships. Proverbs 31. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 31. Proverbs. Read Proverbs. It talks about 50-50 relationships. In the good book, it says, if you can get married, then get married. But if you find it hard or difficult for you to get married then be a bachelor. It says that in the book. So it's literally preaching or talking about 50-50 relationship. It says that. This is how it is. I know a lot of people are not actually studying the book that they say that they believe in. And once again, and I hope YouTube doesn't hit me for this, but I'm a heathen. And you mean to tell me that I know more about the book that I've never really read cover to cover? I just know a couple of verses out of it better than you? And this is, this is the stupidity of what I'm talking about. The Five of Cups represents you, Sagittarius, see the hypocrisy and how so many people want to charge you up to be workhorses while they get the easier job and they want you, they want to convince you that that's fair <laughs> by dressing it up. And the thing about it is that the devil in the chariot represents, the devil represents the contract. The devil card, the devil tarot card in this reading represents what it is that other people want you Sagittarius to agree to that you Sagittarius thinks it's egregious to agree to something like that. Why would you Sagittarius decide that you know what out of everything you're now going to start deciding to be in a position where yes this is the correct way you're in a relationship where someone is 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 charging you up essentially right or sending you off to go out there work as hard as you can bring bring home the money and and what are they doing all day the chariot now is about how since that's the case a lot of you sagittarius have to understand as well that and the sagittarius even has a seahorse on it and horses are actually good luck so kind of tying into the whole ideology of sagittarius being good luck because sagittarius are ruled by jupiter jupiter is the planet of good luck Horses are a symbol of good luck. 
get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Tying into it more and more and more. And so the temperance, right? Excuse me, the chariot represents um, how it is that you're questioning this. A lot of you Sagittarius right now are questioning the whole context of modern day relationship relationships, how warped it is, how it is that you keep having people who talk so much about they know what relationships are when they don't seem to understand. No, factually, they don't. If you had both parents in your life and one parent is bringing home more money, that's not a traditional, quote unquote, what most people call a traditional relationship. That's not a traditional idealized version of a traditional relationship. That's called a 50-50 relationship. Do you know what that 50-50 relationship is? It's called a healthy relationship because 50-50 relationships are what? Healthy. That's a healthy, that's a, a healthy relationship because only people who want unhealthy relationships are going to try to convince you that you should do 90% of the work to 95% while they sit on their butt and do nothing and, and take all the benefits of your hard work. That's not a relationship that in that that's not a healthy relationship. That's a parasocial one. It's parasitic. Look it up. Just look up what a parasocial relationship is. It's literally the same thing. What I just said. So the fool and the seven of cups now represent. So a lot of you Sagittarius have liberated yourself from this. So what now? The seven of cups represents how a lot of people have this mentality, but that's a good thing because of the temperance, which is you. You gaining, you're gaining so much wisdom from your own experiences. And what I mean by this Sagittarius, I'm talking about how a lot of you Sagittarius now see that you see it for what it is. Anybody who has a problem reciprocating or anyone who has a problem in 50-50 relationships, you see it like, oh, no, nah, that's a dub. Because they're, they're letting you know they want, they're letting you know what it is that they would be like in a relationship. They want you to do the vast majority of the work. The hanged man and the lovers now represents how a lot of you Sagittarius have to understand that you just need to wait and get to know people. The best thing for you Sagittarius to be starting on now is self-love, self-care, not self-centeredness to where you're warped and you're solipsistic, but taking care of yourself. You know why? Because you Sagittarius have, and I hope YouTube don't hit me for this, but you Sagittarius have essentially hit a level where most people will never reach. You've hit a new spiritual level, a new level of enlightenment that is far above the average person and what it is that the average person can choose to comprehend. The reason why it is I'm saying that Sagittarius is because of the fact that a lot of you Sagittarius are just now, last year up to now, starting to understand how deep the rabbit hole goes and how serious relationships are. Relationships are not about a parasocial interaction. Like I come from a household myself where my mom did something, my sister worked, my mom worked, my my brother worked, right? Among my brothers, but my brothers worked. I went to school. We literally all had our own assignment that we had to do. And there was no such thing as my mother and my sister or my brothers and I, right? Well, I should say more so specifically my brother and I because my brother is the other one. That's a whole other topic. But that's a whole other topic. I'm not even going to get into that. But the ideology that where my my sister and my mom or my brother and I are trying to convince the other members in the house that this is what their job is. We all understood that, yes, we are adults. Yes, we have to pay for rent. We have to pay for things. So this ideology, this brand new ideology of like now all of a sudden we have to convince other people of this was irrelevant. So let's clarify the lovers. Queen of Cups, lovers, Nine of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and then you have the um, 
three of pentacles. So to clarify the lovers, you have the queen of cups and the nine of cups. You're, you need to be patient because what it is that you want, only honest people are going to be able to actually make it with you. Set yourself up for success. The four of pentacles and the three of pentacles now represents because you're not budging. You know what a healthy relationship looks like now. They need to pour into you just like you are pouring into them. In other words, 50-50. They need to contribute to you just like they are con just like you, excuse me, are contributing to them. And if they find it hard, if they have a problem, then it means that they don't understand the fine art of reciprocation. That means that they're looking at it from a parasite's point of view, because that's what a parasite does, leeches off of its host. 